Hello everybody, my name is Kadimwa, welcome back for another video of NHL 19 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series, of course. On the last video we started off, well, we did the draft pick, we did the free agency for the off season. Right before the fourth uh, season, we actually started up the fourth season as well, with uh, the two first months, I believe. Uh, didn't go so well, the second month was a little bit better. Uh, with a record of seven four and three uh seven three and four i believe something like that so um it's not too bad but it definitely room for improvement i did already switch up my lineups a little bit i switched up the strategies switched up everything just to make sure that we are playing good i mean the first line is tearing it up with ov or kucherov and ala I mean, Allah is having a tough time because he's not the player that can really help out Kucherov. But Kucherov, on his own, is just doing fine. So, we'll just see right away. We'll, we'll simulate this third, third month. We'll see what I did and uh, if I needed to change more, more stuff. We'll just simulate the entire third month already. See how we go. I'm hoping that we are going to get a, a good third month here. We got a, a decent, like, a good for the second month the first month was bad the second was good all right seven four and three is good for me you need, just need more wins than regulation losses and in a month and that's what i wanted i also oh, switched up my shootout so hopefully that's going to help out if we come into shootouts we're going to lose less in shootouts or something um i'm hoping for more wins really so right now two two Looks like the record is going to be uh, right now. We're at twel also 12. Uh, well, right now 13, 10, and 4. So we're doing right. Be we're right beside the um, the 50, 50 mark. So we're kind of the 65, uh, 50, 50 mark kind of. So I don't know, guys. Conley? No, I'm not trading anybody. I'm not doing that anymore, guys. I said I. Remember when I said I was going to accept every trade and stuff? That's not a part of the deal anymore. I'm trying to win the cup. I am trying to make my my team a good team. And I don't want that to, to be a thing anymore. For In order to do that, you can't just accept every trade. Otherwise, you're going to end up uh, trading everybody. That's For some reason, it's so bad. The, uh, the trades, the auto trades for the... Um, AI in this game are so bad you can't like let the AI decide for you it's just plain bad so already we got two losses in over in shootout as we can see right here and that makes us for four f losses in a row now I don't want that like a four game losing streaks like this this is just plain bad like five game losing streak how do you want to compete with any team if you keep losing on like this we got two points, but two minor points. Uh, that's that's three out of five games like that that we lost. That basically we didn't get any point, and I don't like that. I need points. All right, we need to play better than this. I I was expecting us to play just like the Bernabe Aces, just like our AHL team. We're doing absolutely extraordinary right now for ourselves. We're doing plain bad. So look at this. I'm going to count my record really quick. So our record for the third month is 5, 6, and 3. Absolutely horrible. It's a horrible. It's not good. It's not good at all. Like, Look at this. We fell down big, big time. Like, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. Kucherov is doing fine. Like The first line is doing fine. I don't know what to do really. What's the big problem? Right, fourth month, guys. Let's see how we go. So all the way up to Dallas Stars game in uh, February. We're starting off the month of January, a new year. Let's hope that we got a, we're gonna get a better year. And I'm tired of this bullshit. I'm ju I just want a good team, a team that actually produces. So uh, let's see if my lineup or my new lineups for both defense and offense are gonna work or not. Like honestly, at this point, I just want my team to produce, to have a better time, have a good time with each other, play well. Like, don't worry about too much stuff. We did give five goals against um, Chicago right there, but 
the other two games we didn't give too many goals the i think the problem is we are going we're capable of scoring goals for sure absolutely we got a uh filthy lineup for the offense wise it's defense wise for some reason we can't like keep the puck out of the net and it's killing us big time the shoot as you can see we gave uh, four goals and we went into shootout and once again the shootout is just not good for us this year shootout is just plain bad um now if we win a couple of games i'm i'm uh, happy with a shootout loss it's better than a regulation loss at least we, uh, we get a point but you know what I mean? I mean, I want wins. That's what I want. I want wins. I don't want to see too much regulation losses. This is the thing I don't want to see. I don't want to see that at all. We only got two so far, so I'm happy with that. Uh, so far, we're doing good with the new lineups, it seems like. I switched up the strategy to give a little bit less goals. I don't think it worked out too much because we are still giving a little bit... Uh, some goals. So most of the games were giving two goals a game. But um, we'll see if we went down. Because we were in the 3.10 or something like that for goals against. So um, we'll see if if it uh, went down a little bit and helped our team. I doubt it. See, we're giving still giving too too many goals. When, we're, when we lose, it's because we give five to six goals or something like that. So after this fourth month, we got a record of seven, three, and one, uh, and one. No, seven, three, and two, basically. So pretty good. It kind of looks like the uh, second month in itself. So I'm happy with that. We went back up, in, uh, in the stats. Now we need to start playing like this a little bit uh, more often. We need to have lots of wins. I'm, ha I'm gonna happy with uh, my team if they get uh, a lot of wins. I'm not focusing anymore on my scouting, guys. My scouting, I don't care anymore. Maybe if we, I just simulated slowly for each game, we would win our actual games, guys. Um, instead of losing them. I just don't know how it works, really. So I didn't switch anything up. Kept the right, the same lineups, the same strategies. Let's see um, how it goes, really. I want my team to be a good team. Want my team to have a good time playing and, uh, and everything, so let's just let them play. Let them play at their best. There we go. We we'll give actually two to three goals per game. Um, if we can keep it that way, we can definitely score three to four goals minimum per game, so we're good as well. We can counter that. We just need to not give five or six goals per game that, because then we're going to be fucked, all right? We can't just being a complete shootout every time um, we, uh, we get into a game, all right? Because we can't just be expecting our goalies to to keep up the, the puck out of the net. They can't do it this year. That's what makes the difference, too, is the goalies cannot make the difference this year. So they're pretty bad. And they're ba barely holding it on. As you can see, we've got three losses in a row after a three-game winning streak right there. So it's basically... A record of 3, 2, and 1 right now. I want to see better than that. All right. Oh, my God. 3, 3, and 1. So, now we're at 50-50. At Let's go, guys. I believe in you. There we go. There's a win. Break us out of that four-game losing streak. We we got to... We, I don't I don't want any losing streak. We need to start puffing off some wins in here. There's another loss in shootout. I don't know what to do, guys. How do we keep losing in shootout? We, lo we lose so many games in shootout. Most of these 11 losses, I say 8 out of, the, out of these 11 losses right now in shootout uh, are in shootout basically. So if we took 8 of these uh, these 11 losses right there and we put them into wins in shootouts, look how many wins we would get. We would be absolutely, we would have an actual good month. We would have a good time. It's the, what makes the difference right now. It's the, the points we're losing because of shootout losses. I kind of need to switch up that then. I, I really do. I don't know why it's doing so bad. We got three lo wins though. It's the only thing I think I need to change really. It's the uh, shootout. I believe it's really the only thing I need to change. Because it seems like we're playing fine right now. With a, a record of 1, 2, 3, um, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
So seven wins. One, two, three. Oh, hang on. It switched up. Come on. We got another uh, month with seven uh, wins. We lost the last game in over uh, in regulation, which I don't like. So one, two, three, and four. So seven, four, and one. Uh, seven, four, and two, the record. So last month was seven, four, and three, I believe, or something like that, or seven, three, or something. So this time it's once again uh, seven, four, and two, actually. So. It kind of looks the same all the time if we can if we could just manage to it would look better if we just get wins out of these shootout losses guys instead uh where are we right now all right so we're actually in top of our division because our division is pretty it's pretty weak actually this year is the weak division we're in so that's good for us that just help us out the fact that we're in the weak division this year we're actually the second spot kucherov's having a the best time of his year career really he's having a really good time playing with Ovi so here's what I want to do guys I'm gonna to try to trade uh, Brassa and Lindbergh both our sentiments for another sentiment in exchange I am putting Martin Kaut in the fourth line I want to try him out see how, how he plays in the actual NHL he plays very well in the AHL so I want to see how he goes for the NHL itself and uh, Lindbergh basically was playing on the fourth line he's a third liner all right so playing on the fourth line, hopefully with uh, Tampa Bay, I really doubt it. He can have a better chance. We've got Brassard. He's going to get it in Tampa Bay because I really don't like him. He plays terrible with our team. Look at this. Minus 13. It's not good. It's not good. I don't like this whatsoever. Like uh, he's good with the takeaways. He's good with the takeaways. But for some reason, he's just, he's got a lot of penalties. He takes a lot of penalties. He's... I don't know guys I don't know about him he's just not playing good with us um, we kind of need somebody to complete the second line which the second line I believe is two snipers playing together it's either two way forward or a grinder or something like that or like a playmaker it could be a playmaker with these guys actually no it's two playmakers in the second line so it could be that guys I don't know all right, we need we could probably find really something a, a good player right here we could definitely find a good player let's try to, to find someone right here someone like a Johnson we could definitely find one you need to also find someone that actually is good plays good has good uh, good stats like uh, is in the plus minuses uh, often so we got something like Johnson right here would be a good choice is 30 for uh, 31 years of age I mean, we got George Thornton in here, but I don't want that. I, I want a good player that can actually really play right now and help us uh, our team out. We are gonna try our luck with uh, Johnson, guys. Obviously, I don't want. I don't know why they didn't want uh, to trade Braden Point. They don't want to trade Johnson as well. But just look, I'm giving you Brassal. And I'm giving you, like, I'm giving you basically the same settlement right now, except one is be better than one. Like, one is in the minuses all the time, and one is in the pluses all the time. And I, you got a bonus settlement with that, Lindbergh, if you ever need one. Like, come on, just accept the trade already, all right? Let's go. There we go, finally. So, basically, we lost a defenseman. This is a losing trade for me um, in the long run. But right now, this is what we needed because we needed somebody who can actually play. Um, he's better than Ala, uh, obviously, like Johnson, wa uh, like Brassal was, but Brassal was not playing good enough to play in the first line. Uh, in the first line, so maybe uh, we could even play him in the first line. So what is he's a playmaker? Actually, no. Uh, uh, Ala is doing fine. I want to switch up the first line too much. Let's just try him out where he's supposed to be playing in the second line. All right. So Johnson is basically the same situation here. We got a, a playmaker, two playmakers playing with a two way forward. See if he can actually play better this time around. Uh, these guys. Now Lafreniere, I know he hasn't hit him. Uh, it's kind of a 50 50 mark. I don't know how he plays really. Um, I think he plays really good in my mind. And uh, 
Niminen is actually a good player. All right, he's in the pluses. Uh, so he's a plus guy. So he's not a problem. So Johnson is not a problem. Niminen is not a problem. Lafreniere, kind of 50-50. I think they should do great together. Um, Shaw, I don't know about Shaw. Like, honestly, these guys are not playing well together. So I, I kind of need, I really need to put fast in there guys i need to put the best elements together see how it goes and if it doesn't go well too bad really all right that's all i need to do um so nash right there and count let's see how count is doing see if it helps out in any way shape or form our team right so this is the only trade i'm gonna do the only trade i can really do so let's just see how it goes really I'm just going to continue simulation. Took me a long time to do these goddamn trades. So let's just continue simulation. I want to finish this uh, the season off in this video. So taking a long time to do this the simulation for the season, guys. But it's really because I really want to make sure that our team plays good. That we got the right lineups. That we actually win games, you know. And have a good, good, decent simulations and stuff. And I actually forgot about the shootout. A situation I, I forgot to uh, switch it up but that's okay uh, it's okay we'll switch it up eventually I don't don't think at this point it really matters anymore whether I switch it up or not like uh, all that matters is we win as much games as possible we won our all of our games since we did the trade but there's a loss in regulation against uh, the Panthers right there, but two other uh, wins right there. There's a win in shootouts. See what I mean? This is what we need. Wins in shootouts. Uh, we got another one right here, which is really good. There we go. Um, so two losses in regulation. So far, there's a third one right there. And a fourth one. God damn it. No, no, no. No, I don't want that. Oh, my God. There's a. Here comes the losing streak right there. There, there we go. Here comes the losing streak. There's a, a, a win. Uh, there we go. Two wins. That's what I want to see, guys. There's three wins to help us out. Help us even that out. So, after the month of March, we've got... We have a good winning record with nine, win, uh, nine wins in that month alone. We, are not, we haven't clutched this, uh, the playoffs just yet. But uh, I can already tell you we are in the playoffs for sure. Since we are at the very end of the season and we're 89 points way in front of uh avalanche the avalanche and stuff so i'm pretty sure at this point we are clinching the playoffs uh we are making it to the playoffs i i'm pretty sure unless we fuck it up and lose all of our games which is probably gonna happen somehow because it's ea but aside from that um i think we're doing fine guys i think we uh we got or we are handling this pretty good so that was actually a really good month for us Really happy. We actually uh, won in shootout once and lost in shootout once. So uh, 50, re 50 record. I'm happy with that. Um, what else do we got? We got uh, nothing else I really want to look at. Actually, I do want to look at our where our players play, really. How do our players play? Uh, these guys already know how they play together. Now, let's see how Lafreniere went with Johnson. Uh, uh, how Nieminen... And Nafania played with Johnson, so okay. Johnson is playing well to uh, with these guys. He's playing better, but these guys are playing worse with this guy. So it's not they're not they're just not made to play together. It's because of the two sniper situation. But I can't switch them up. They need to play where they are in order to grow. So I can't switch them up. And Johnson is playing fine on the second line. We are winning games, so I don't care. I, they, they need to stick it, uh, stick it up. All right. These guys are actually playing better. Definitely playing better together. That's what I like to see. And these guys. Yes, they're playing better. Okay, so it's just the second line now. I can work with one line that's not working well. All right. Um, these guys are going to try to find a way. They're going to have to find a way to play together. I mean, come on. You should be playing together very well. I don't know what's your problem right now. Uh, what about these guys? Like, I can't put three playmakers together. That would be just absolutely ridiculous. I don't even know if that's even possible. Could we do that? 
I don't know, guys. Um, plus 26, I mean, it's doing very good. All is doing very good with these guys. I don't want to switch that up. So, Nurse, yes, doing fine together. These guys doing fine. Uh, yeah, I, I figured it out. Figured it out, really. Schmaltz is just a, a big asshole because he... Uh, Whoever he plays with, he just plays bad, so we can't do anything about that. And the the two, you know, the biggest difference was this year. I think it was definitely the two uh, the, the two the, the two goaltenders in the the back of the net. I think that was the biggest problem this year. Our two goaltenders played like trash, so it definitely did not help out. We're just gonna simulate the rest of the season and uh, finish this off already, because uh, I'm. Putting already too much time in here. This thing too much too much time. So there's a win right there. That's what I want to see. Like what? Four wins in a row. Five wins in a row. Six wins in a row. And we definitely are in the playoffs now with that uh, record right there. So uh, really happy about that. We finished strong. Um, actually, we finished with a loss in regulation, which I don't like. But there we go. We're in the playoffs against... Um, St. Louis, so the St. Louis Blues looks like it's going to be the team we're facing up against, guys. Now, remember last year, now I'm expecting a really good uh, playoff run, all right? Because last year, we made it all the way to the finals of our con of our conference of the West. And we lost against the, the Stanley Cup champions, basically. It looks like Washington already had their game, so Washington is going off to the next round, and Columbus as well. Uh, the Coyotes are going off to the next round, and so is San, jo San Jose. All right, so I'm really, I'm excited for this. Let's look at the stats for the NHL really quick. We're going to make this really quick, guys. Uh, Ovi was almost a 50-goal scorer. He, um, he, ha he need, just needed one more goal for to have a 50. Didn't manage to get it, but he got 49 goals. 40 goals for Kucherov, who got scores in there now. We definitely have two scores, big time scores for our team, which helps us out. Uh, 96 points for Kucherov, 94 points for Ovi, all at 69 points. These guys, together, they're just playing fine. Imagine if they had a better player than Ala, they would have done more points, guys. It's just, uh, these guys are made, uh, they're match in heaven. They definitely need to play together. Um, Allah, he definitely plays well to the, with them, but the thing is, he's not good enough. He doesn't have the stats. Like he, he does. He's not a, a play a first liner basically. Uh, Johnson had a really good year, and actually did, did, ended up pretty well with a plus seven and all this great stuff. Ended up pretty well. We've got Lafreniere in there with, um, I guess. You could say he played pretty well. 50 points, he, he definitely had a good year. Uh, the minus is going to hurt him. The minus is going to hurt him big time, but he definitely has the, the points in there. So uh, 20 years of age, I'm liking that. 20, definitely produces. So 50 points, he uh, produces more than he should be. So I'm, I'm liking that. Uh, Jesper Fast, 50 points when you think about it. Jesper Fast played a lot in the second line for a long time. Actually, he started up. To, so that's what helped him out. He played even in the fourth line a little bit. So Jesper Fast, definitely a great year for him. Um, I'm just going to look for the forwards right here first. And uh, Riley Nash for second line. played on a, Actually, he's a third liner. Really good. 44 points. I'm really happy about that. Um, second liner now, Nimmin second liner, 39 points. Um, it's kind of he did the job, he did the job. He's, he's supposed to have 40 points, so I'm happy with what he got. Definitely happy with what, I, what he had. Um, minus three, so he just underperformed. Minus three had a tough year, but I, be, I still believe in him, I still believe he can produce. Definitely, he's got the offensive awareness in there. Um, and so I think he's pretty good guys. He's definitely good. He's a defensive type of uh, a player and he's going to be really good for our team in the future. Uh, Scrimes, now Scrimes, he's a third forward liner. Definitely uh, he produced, so I'm happy about that. He did produce. Uh, Vanek produced. 
uh, Shaw did did uh, not do good. So actually, Vanek did not do good as well. So Vanek and Shaw are not playing well. They're not good players for our team. Definitely not good enough. Now Shaw did play a lot in the fourth line, but uh, minus seven. That's just not doing yet. So these guys, bad players. Kaut is actually a really good player, so I'm really happy about, uh, happy about him. If defense wise, we do do have Rasmus Dahlin. Now Rasmus Dahlin is a top four. He's supposed to get the thir the thirty points, guys. He did get it. He, he got the thirty points, so I'm happy about that. He got what he had. He did what he had to do. For some reason, though, Dahlin should be doing way more way more points in the season than that. But a uh, EA doesn't like Dalin in the in its game so this year so for some reason it never produces uh more it doesn't get more points than that for some reason because it's a two way and everything so thirty one point it's fine by me uh definitely fine by me guys uh we've got uh Daniel Nurse now Daniel Nurse I don't uh I don't know what to say about him really um is he He's a two-way D man, as the as we can see. He plays like, uh, yeah, I don't know. He, he's okay. He's okay, I guess. Uh, he had a, a tough year, really rough year. But the plus thirteen helped him out at the end. I think Dalin helped him out, but I'm not a fan of Daniel Nurse. I gotta tell you, not a fan. Carlo, it's okay, I believe. No top four actually should be producing more than that. Um. Actually, let's see. Uh, yeah, Carlos should definitely be producing more than that. He's a defensive defenseman, though. Okay, then I, I forgive him. I forgive him. Uh, Schmals and all this great stuff. All right. Goaltender-wise, our two goaltenders played like shit. Actually, Grabar ended up playing good. He ended up playing decent. Or maybe not. No, actually, they're both starters, so both played like shit, so... Bad year for both of these goaltenders, which did not help our team out at all. Uh, they need to pre they need to definitely up their game in the playoffs because otherwise it's going to be bad for us, guys. Definitely. Uh, best score. We got the best score, of course. Oh, Elijah Simpson. Oh, this guy came out of nowhere, really. All right, we got the best score in Ovi. Ovi. Uh, and uh, Elijah Simpson is actually the best player of the league. 97 points. Good lord, this guy really came out of nowhere. He was drafted fourth overall uh, by the Avalanche. The Avalanche really got a good one in there. When was this? All the way in 2019, the first year, I believe. All right. What, what kind of 89 overall? All right. Well, Kucherov, the second best player. We got Ovi. So the two, uh, second and third best player, we've got them. And Mackinnon, we've got. Michael Rentonen and all these players. There we go. Uh, Defense-wise, who's the best defenseman? Uh, Carlson, Daly. All right, we got all these. Uh, the, we got all these players right here. I wish I had all one of them, because we our best defenseman is Dalin. He's good, but he doesn't produce enough in my mind. Uh, Murray, I kind of uh, okay. So Murray's and Anderson. Nedel Jogvik, who the fuck is that? I don't know, guys. Came out of nowhere. Look at his um his percentage, though. Murray and him are on the run for the Vizina for sure. And uh, that's about it. Our goaltenders were really trash this year. Rookie starters. Rookie, I guess the best is Ryan McLeod. So Ryan McLeod, the best rookie of the year. All right. So this is what it looks like this year. We're going to start off our season, uh, our playoffs against the Blues. Hopefully, we can at least win against them. Make it to the second round and the third round. I'm expecting to get to the third round. I'm not going to ask too much, though, because we had a pretty tough year. As, as you can see, 42 games. If we, could get, if we could have gotten more wins out of these goddamn shootouts, guys, that would have made the difference big time. Definitely would have made the difference, but can't do everything really all right so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm gonna see you guys for the next one remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video keep it easy